North Korea says it is considering a preemptive attack on the United States. That country has been escalating its rhetoric, threatening to strike our nation with nuclear weapons for some time, but now it is red hot, those words. So how worried should all Americans be by all this talk? Philip Yoon is a former advisor on North Korea under the Clinton administration. He's currently executive director of the Plow Shares Fund. Philip, thanks for joining us. Oh, good morning. How are you? We're doing well, but what about that question? How worried should Americans be about what the North is saying and doing? Well, we should be worried. We should be, uh, but it's not about a preemptive nuclear attack. We have to realize, let's be clear, the, uh, North Korea does not have the capability to do a preemptive nuclear attack, particularly by a long-range missile. That's not going to happen. The real problem right now is against this backdrop of heightened rhetoric, uh, a missile test in December, a nuclear test in February, and armistice, all these, uh, all these uh, latest escalations, that a miscalculation can happen. Uh, we have a history of sort of firefights breaking out in the east and the west sea around the peninsula incidents along the dmz and we can see where a miscalculation here could easily spin out of control now we are concerned i think officially that south korea might try to develop a nuclear weapon in response to this do you think that's likely and how can we help prevent that well, I, I certainly think there are, there are people in South Korea who feel like that that is something they absolutely need to have. I think part of what is going on here to some degree in terms of the United States taking the steps, which is the uh, heightened uh, war games that are going on, the, uh, uh, the dispatch of the B-52, the F-22, the THAAD, the uh, uh, stealth bomber is really a, a way to reassure the South Koreans that the whole idea of extended deterrence, that we are there to protect them, to stand with them, um, is, is a signal for them to, to really sort of allay those concerns. So you say that your biggest concern is a miscalculation by the U.S. So how should the administration be responding? Well, I think what the administration should be doing, and I think they're probably working on this, is trying to figure out a way to lower the rhetoric, try to de-escalate. I think this latest step, which was just announced, that they decided that they were not going to uh, uh, do a pre-scheduled test of an ICBM, the United States previously scheduled test, they decided not to do it, is one step in order to do that. I think we have to hold firm with the North Koreans, um, and, and that's really important because what's happening here is with the, uh, the, the establishment of new governments in China, Japan, South Korea, and a new security team, the North Koreans are essentially testing us. They're trying to see what our temperament is and what our resolve is in the face of increasing ratcheting pressure. The problem, though, is we have a new team also in North Korea mm -hmm. and, a relative, and a very young uh, leader. He may not know where the envelope is. The North Koreans are very good at pushing the envelope, but he himself may not know where the, yes. the edge of that is. That makes sense. Phil Yoon, thanks a lot for that update. We appreciate it. Sure. Thank you.